Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm on Clee Forks Beach today. Um, basically, I'm not here to do the metal detecting. Um, I'm here just to point a few things out. There's been a lot going on with this ban uh, that the council are enforcing from the 1st of April, which is next Saturday. Um, from them stones over there which is the groin then all the way down to Techni the metal detecting is going to be banned now some of you will be aware of how sand moves on the beach um, this particular area it was um, the 5th of this month that somebody posted on here uh, about these old footings getting exposed uh, this is where the old stalls were possibly Victorian um, but these when I were last on here these was about another foot and a half more exposed so the, the sand's already started pushing back in on them but going back say six weeks ago these footings not see them at all that was just totally sand over them um, like the stairs over there the bottom of them there's all the concrete hanging over with no sand underneath them because that much sand has shifted but this particular bit me and my brother we was metal detecting along here uh, about I don't know maybe two weeks ago and he actually pulled up a big carving knife um, just below the sand that could do some serious injury to a member of the public on here you've got people running you've got uh, kids playing kids running kids jumping around you know um, us metal detectorists we pull no end of sharp objects off this beach right this is the knife that my brother found on Clee Fox Beach as you see it's got I don't know that that blade on that must be like 8 inch alone without the handle but I don't know if it's showing up the yeah it's all really sharp there and then it's got another sharp bit on the top there but imagine the damage that could do somebody stood on that or a kid got hold of it and then there was a, in a group somebody uh, posted about a big garden fork head uh, that were just sticking up out of the sand and you know you imagine a kid sitting on that or someone standing on it a dog walker a dog you know possibilities of endless what sort of injury could be caused from this I want to walk up here a bit I'm on here with my boys today we'll just come down to make this video basically and they're to have a little play about uh, while I talk about some of the things. I was talking to the Telegraph uh, about North East Lincolnshire Council. I'll put the link in the description for that. Um, the council didn't like that so Ron Shepherd he talks to the Telegraph um, because I, I called it that basically it's a total joke and they didn't like it he's saying it's not a ban but you can't make heads or tails of what he's put really he's saying it's not a ban and then no permits will be issued then a licence can be applied for you know you just can't make out what he's on about really yeah this ban is all about protecting the science, special scientific site of interest now there is it is covered by the tide at the minute, but there is an old forest out there, so yeah, you can understand that bit. Then, right where the leisure centre is, there's some like marshland with like grass growing. Nobody ever metal detects on that bit. So, yeah, they're saying it's because of a special, special site of scientific interest. Now, let's talk about the SSSI. If that's the case, then why as local MPs Martin Vickers and that Leah Nisi 
Let's vote to continue in to dump raw sewage into the River Umber. So yeah, if they're protecting their site, the site, same special site of interest or whatever, then why are they voting to keep that happening? Don't make sense. Same again, site, special site of uh, scientific interest. Uh, about a month ago or so, the bomb squad attempted to detonate a World War II bomb on Cleethorpe's Beach, what was discovered in a garden. Why would they bring that to the beach if this is a SSSI uh, site? So yeah, that contradicts it as well. Uh, then there's kids digging. The kids come here in the summer, holiday makers and whatever, they love coming here, digging sandcastles, digging in the sand, and yeah, they, they don't really uh, fill in their holes, do they? So yeah, there is that. Are the council going to start fining them? The £100 fine? Well, that wouldn't surprise me. In the email I've done to Ron Shepherd, I've asked him, um, is the council off to have a team of metal detectorists to clear sharp objects off the beach? Um, and if they're not, then are they off to accept liability if there is an injury caused? Us detectorists, we, we do a really good job on here. We remove all sharp objects, uh, we find jewellery for people when they've lost it. And they, they said oh, they'll, they'll issue permits for people to find lost jewellery for people. But the thing is, people lose their wedding ring in that water, you've got a chance of maybe 12 hours at the tops of finding it before that tide washes it to God knows where. So time you get a permit, that'll be a waste of time. And that can be sentimental, jewellery, wedding rings, heirlooms, all sorts of stuff. So no, that, that is not going to work. I also want to thank the metal detecting group that come on here yesterday. They spoke to the press. Um, on here, I couldn't make it myself. I'm very sorry for that. Family stuff got in the way, so I could not make that. Um, yeah, this video isn't just con concerning the safety of the public, it's con concerning all detectorists because if North East Lincolnshire Council get away with this, it could spread to other councils and give them the ideas of banning metal detecting. I'm nearly done with this video, but I'll just show you this here. Right, just, just beyond these steps that I've just said, it's had quite a bit of erosion. You see here, got, say, electric cable. Trip hazard there. Same again, that would have been buried quite deep under the sand. And when we've had these storms or uh, strong tides or whatever, it's stripped all the sand away and exposed the wire there. But yeah, all this stuff with the council is just just a total joke. It really is. Detecting on here has been been going on for I don't know since the seventies. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you on the next one.